I've now figured out how to update the record. So to update the record, what you have to do is put the ID inside of your REST data. And what I did was I just copied it from the previous uh, postman result set thing that's at the bottom of this the response. And I just pasted it in here and put a comma after it. And then it knew automatically to update that record in the database. It also adds some more stuff to the response. So it has an entry list. Uh, it says the ID, um, name of the field, and then the value of that, even though it has it right here, too. So uh, kind of redundant, but it works. So I changed the name to Hello World, so you can just see this here. So there, and it says hello world there. And I'm going to go ahead and change the name again to something else. And I'm not sure what the value field is, but it's not visible on the screen. It's not in the database either. So um, I'm going to put the number two after that. I'm going to go ahead and send that. And I've been doing it as a post. I'm not sure if the result will be the same if I do it as another method. It probably will, seeing as this isn't really a very RESTful API. So I'm just going to refresh the page, and then the name is updated on that one record. And let's go ahead and see what happens if I do a GET, and then I also do um, Hello World 3. Okay, so yeah, same thing happens, so it doesn't matter the uh, request method. It does either. It does any of those, which is silly. It should really be doing it by the request method. Okay. Well, that's how you update a record via Postman for Sweet CRM.